Hello kids, good morning. Hope you all are going good. Before starting our class, let's do a warm up exercise. All are ready? Stand up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Sit down, all of you. In previous classes, you learned about one sentence. Isn't it? Okay. Today, we are going to discuss about one interesting item that is placed in every home. Can you guess the item? You can watch it everywhere. Home, hospitals, offices, police station, post office, temples. Wherever you can see that item. Can anybody tell the answer? Yes, it's clock. We can see a clock everywhere, isn't it? Why clock have this much importance? Yes, it tells about time. It tells about time. We all say, we all say, good morning, good afternoon, good night, etc. What does, what does indicate? It mainly describes about time, isn't it? Good morning says that the time is early morning. Good afternoon says the time is noon. Good night says the time is night. So, time has its importance. That is why time is said to be the most precious. Now, let's learn about how to save time by seeing the clock. In a clock, you can see numbers from 1 to 12. And also, long needle, long hand needle, a short hand needle, then means needle. The means needle always move frequently. Okay? Dear children, watch the clock carefully. Here the long hand needle is the number 12. Here the long hand needle is in the number 12. And the short hand needle is in the number 5. And the short hand needle is in the number 5. The current time is Five o'clock. The current time is five o'clock. Clear? Okay. Dear children, next one. The long handle needle is in the number twelve. The short hand needle is in the number nine. What's the current time? The current time is 9 o'clock. Okay. Dear children, please open the textbook. Take the page number 70. Like this, you have complete this page. Okay. Now, let's discuss about money. Now, let's discuss about money. Money is said to be the most important source of Living. Without money, we cannot survive in society. Money has its own value. You can notice the value of money 
in all the places you go, especially in banks, you can see, see that money is collected in large amounts. Okay, yes, I will show you few rupees and coins. Are you ready? Okay. This is 2000 rupees. This is 2000 rupees. This is 500 rupees. This is 500 rupees. And then this is 200 rupees. This is 200 rupees. And then this is 100 rupees. This is 100 rupees. Then this is 50 rupees. This is 50 rupees. Next one. This is 20 rupees. This is 20 rupees. Rupees. This is 10 rupees. Last one is 10 rupees. It is Indian rupees. Okay. Next one coins. This is 10 rupees coin. 10 rupees coin. Then 5 rupees coin. Okay, 5 rupees coin. Then 2 rupees coin. This is 2 rupees coin. Then 1 rupee coin. Okay, this is 1 rupee coin. Shall we wind up our class? We will meet our next class. Okay, bye, see you.